Hey, what's up you guys? It's Maddie and welcome to or back to my channel. So it's been a minute. Um, your girl's blonde again. I'm a natural blonde and it was just calling my name again, you know? It's about to be super warm outside. Summer is coming. It's right around the corner and I just had to be a Barbie again for summer. <laughs> so I'm blonde again. Um, as you can see, I also do not have a backdrop behind me anymore. Um, my last video, the camera just really, it wasn't focusing right, like it continued to go in and out of focus on me, and it would focus on my backdrop. So before we actually get into the video and start playing with the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and Setting Powders, I do want to give you like a quick mini tour of my studio. Of course, in my last video I did briefly talk about why I have not yet done my apartment tour. Um, but the main reason is because the room I'm in right now, my studio room, is not finished and I want to do it all in one video. Uh, this is actually my last week of school, so after this week and after finals, I'm free, no more school, um, so I'm really going to be focusing on this, like, you know, of course I want to have a summer, travel, have fun, do this and that, but I really want to focus on this channel and, you know, just practicing makeup in general. I mean, I really have been so inactive, and when I started YouTube, I really wasn't um, aware of what life was about to hand me, if that makes sense. I've just gone through a lot the past six months, plus school, moving, it's just kind of taken away from me being able to do this. Like when I put all of my time and energy into this channel, I promise it is going to be worth it. And since you guys are already here and watching, why don't you just hit that subscribe button if you are not already and um, turn on that notification bell. I honestly am the worst at posting. I do not have like a set scheduled um, day of the week where I post. So having the notification bell on will notify you when I upload a new video, which might be helpful to you if you are watching my content. But if you are following me on my social media, you will already be up to date on what I'm filming and what I'm going to be posting. And of course, I post a lot more on my social media about makeup and just all things beauty in general. So go ahead and give me a follow for a closer look into my little life. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to show you my new little area to film in. Alright you guys, so here is where I film all of my videos. Um, this used to just be a backdrop that you guys saw that I've had since I pretty much started filming. And now I have this cute little sitting area over here. This is all kind of temporary though, like I said, until everything gets finished. So as you can see right here, I have these like really pretty rocks. Uh, when you walk into my house, I actually have these little pictures and they have like beautiful stones in them. Um, when I do my apartment tour, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I want to put those all over this wall, so this wall is going to look different. Like I said, this is just temporary. So here are my studio lights. That's the tripod over there. And then come and take a closer look at all of my goodies. So today, of course, we are going to be playing with the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer and Setting Powder. I am so excited. Just got a new brush set. This is the James Charles brush set. And I just put all of like my Jeffree Star ones in there, but uh, your girl needed some new brushes. Over here, I have um, my OG palettes. Of course, all three are Jeffree Stars. You already know. Um, this little guy right here has some little minis in there. How cute is that? Little mini beauty blenders and little mini highlighters and lipsticks. Um, and then it's just like a little lash drawer. How cute. So all of my new lashes. And then this is to die for. I just got this in the mail. And I literally had exactly 20 lipsticks. I just love the pink sparkle. And this is where the magic happens. Um, of course, like I said, nowhere near done. I want to have shelves on that wall over there. 
Um, there's a mess over there, but that wall is also going to have another vanity where I can just get ready at, not a filming vanity that actually has a big mirror. But what I'm planning to do is just eventually, when I am finally done with the rest of the house, everything is perfect and magazine worthy, that's when I am going to be doing my tour, my apartment tour. Alright you guys, so today I'm going to be focusing just on my skin and my face makeup. I'm not going to be doing my eyeshadow today. Um, so let's dig in. I am so excited. I have been wanting to play with these so bad. Oh my god, you have no idea. We're going to get into all the tea about it. Um, let's get, let's get started. Alright, so of course, um, to start out, I'm going to prime my face. I have absolutely nothing on my face, no moisturizer, no nothing. So I'm going to be going in first with the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil mixed with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This just gives your skin a really nice hydrated base. And when your skin is hydrated, your makeup will just glide on flawlessly. Now I'm going to dunk into here. Mm. I love the texture of this, oh my god. So I have been tanning recently, so I'm not 100% sure what foundation to go into. Um, I don't think I have one that's going to be my shade today anyway, so we're just going to go in with the normal Bounce by Beauty Blender foundation. Now I love this foundation. I want Jeffrey to come out with a foundation. God, I forgot how when you have blonde hair, the foundation totally gets up in there. Alright, so I did announce on my Instagram that I bought way more than just one shade of his concealers. So I have three shades and I haven't even shown you yet. I mean, you guys have probably all seen them, but hello. They're gorgeous. I mean, they're so pretty. There is literally not a concealer on the market that could compare with this packaging wise. So I have shades C8, C4, and C3. C5 was actually like my perfect match um, because it says light skin with neutral undertones, which is totally me. But of course, that was the one that did get stolen, so it sold out in, bam, a few minutes, and I could not get my hands on it. Um, all of my stuff still hasn't gotten here. I have about six more powders on the way. I do have the setting powder in shade Fair, though. All of the others are going to be in translucent, and I did let you guys know on Instagram that I would be um, selling those. Um, I'm not going to be like selling them for more or anything like that. It's just my mom and I bought some extras so that we could give them to my friends. So um, let me know in the comments below if you're interested. Um, like I said, on my Instagram I will be talking more about that, so make sure to follow if you're interested. So I hope this video uh, isn't too long. Most of my videos are on the longer side. I just, I love to chat with you guys and I always have so much to tell you in every video or to talk about because I've 
go so long without filming in between. But like I said, school is over this week and that's about to change. So anyway, but I do want to cover all the tea and all the controversy surrounding the new concealers. So, um, of course in today's society, everyone just needs something to bitch about. Like, that's just how I see it. Like, I'm scrolling on Twitter, I'm scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on whatever, and it's just hate. So much hate. Just hateful, hateful people. Just, it's, ah. Uh, I mean, I could make a video about it. It's ridiculous. I mean, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, people will bitch about literally anything in the entire world. Like, they just need to put their opinion out there or to complain, to put negativity out in the world. I don't know, but it drives me insane. And here is my two cents on the whole issue. Issue. So... People are calling Jeffrey a hypocrite for only releasing 30 shades of concealer to start out with when he is always bashing other brands for not being inclusive. Um, so here's the difference. Jeffrey provides constructive criticism. Sometimes, you know, he is a little shady, that's just Jeffrey. Um, but you know, he's very honest. He, um never holds back and I think a lot of people like that about him but at the same time a lot of people don't like that about him but what he complains about isn't 30 shades of concealer he complains about 12 shades of foundation that has three shades for darker people does that make sense so people are bitching about his shade range which by the way looks like this so he has two color correctors all right all right all right so he has um oh is that a third color corrector or is that no that's the white one okay so he has two color correctors a white concealer um so let's see it's about one two three four five for super light one two three four five for like light to medium, one, two, three, four, five for medium, medium to dark, uh, one, two, three, four, five dark, one, two, three, four, five, six dark to deep. Like, what are people complaining about? You know what I mean? There's at least five colors for like every skin tone, and he was really trying to create undertones that other companies didn't create. Um, and people are bitching about the shade range. That I just do not understand at all. I think it's a great shade range. And he even said that this is just his starting shade range. Like he's gonna continue to release more. So this is literally just the first 30, uh, 32 counting the correctors. They do retail at $22 a piece. And this is where I kind of agree with other people. So you get Let's see, I believe it's 0.2. Okay, no. All right, so you'll get 3.4 milliliters in each, which is 0.115 fluid ounces for $22, okay? Um, I'm gonna get my shape tape, which is my go-to. Here is the shape tape concealer. Hold on, I'm gonna get all the tea for you. We're gonna see how much it is, all that jazz. All right, so my current go-to all-time fave, and I know y'all know about this. I know you know who she is. Tarte Shape Tape, $27 for 10 milliliters. Now you compare that to 3.4 milliliters for $22, and yeah, I can see why people are complaining about that. But if you don't want to afford, like if you, feel as if that is too expensive for you, then don't complain about it, just just don't buy it. I mean, there's millions of concealers out there that are just as great, maybe. I haven't tried it yet, but I have very high expectations. This is Jeffree Star, everything he's ever put out is amazing. Um, if I hated him as a person, I would still use his products, they're that amazing. And 
I am comparing it to Tarte Shape Tape or Estee Lauder Double Wear. I mean, I have really high expectations. But that is my two cents on the concealer. So, um, now let's talk about the powders. Again, people are talking about... Actually, I really haven't heard as much about the powders as people have been complaining about the concealers. He has eight shades of powder. And um, I believe that's what like Fenty came out with as well for their launch, so that's great. You know, there's nothing to complain about shade range wise. The packaging is so cute, a little hot pink moment, and of course, it smells like cotton candy. I can't wait to smell it. But what I wanted to talk about here is this also retails for $22. Now in this, you get 10 grams of product, okay? So for $22, you get 10 grams of product. And when I first saw this in person, I was actually like, wow, that is not very much product at all. What? Um, so that's that for 22. And then my go-to setting powder at the moment. Like I said, y'all, I have not tried this yet, so I'm guessing it's probably about to replace these, but I just want to compare. So here's my go-to setting powder, the Huda Beauty setting powder in Pound Cake, and this has 20 grams in it, so literally double, double what the Jeffree Star powder has in it, but it is $34, so it's $12 more than this. So. If people are complaining about that, this is a lot cheaper, so there is that. Um, but then, uh, this retails for $32. This is the Fenty Beauty um, setting powder in shade Butter, and this has 28 grams in it. 28 grams. This has almost 20 more grams of product in it than this. And this is actually a little bit cheaper than the Huda Beauty. This is $32. <laughs> so you see what I mean? Comparing, t comparing these products to others, yes, I do see what people are saying. Um, but you do also have to look at the price point. So there's my opinion. And if the formula is as amazing as this packaging and as amazing as everything else I've ever used by Jeffree, I do not care about the price, and it's gonna be worth it. All right, so let's start. Actually, I'm gonna really quickly do my brows. I never do my brows on camera. First time, y'all, I'll do a brow for you. So I am going into my dip brow in soft brown using my Jeffree Star eyebrow brush. Alright, and there's a brow. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off of camera just for the sake of time, and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and looking crazy because my brows are the only thing that's on. <laughs> okay, so um, let's move on and not look at what I'm looking like right now. And let's swatch these three and figure out which one's going to be the best. So this is C8, or I'm gonna go lightest to darkest, so C3. Ooh, that applicator, I'm excited to see. Okay, so it's really bright. 
frightening. Ooh, by the way, this is so sharp, like, I'm like cutting myself on it on accident. Alright, C4. This actually looks a little bit more brightening than C3, which is weird. But of course, it is about the undertones. So, that's why they look different. Wow. I mean, that's really creamy. I can already tell that this is going to be great. I'm excited. Definitely not C4. That's going to be way crazy. Alright, and then C8. smile lines. <laughs> they look ridiculous. All right, let's blend. Oh my god, y'all. Honestly, I can't even tell that I'm like not using my go-to. It's like the formula is kind of unique like he's totally right um it's like a very light formula it really is like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey yet it is still giving me like good coverage which I need because I have the worst under eye circles ever baking yet I'm just setting does the same thing my head of one does it literally like it's so cool to watch you can literally like watch it turn from like a liquid like it looks like dewy to looking matte
I'm gonna try the other side with a damp beauty blender. Let's Jeffrey's fade away. That's my fade away too. I'm not ready to bake yet. I think it looks pretty good. I'm so used to using my super full coverage shape tape and then topping that with my super full coverage Fetty Beauty baking powder. So this is a little different. Um, I'm gonna zoom y'all in so you can see the real tea under my eyes. Jeffrey did not say that his concealer is crease proof. Um, which every concealer that does claim to be crease proof isn't anyway, so I mean, I'm not worried. Now, now I'm gonna contour. We're just gonna go through this really quickly. I'm just gonna contour for y'all, but I'm gonna speed it all up. So here we go. Dipping into this color right here. And here we go. set everything. That is very fine powder. Alright, let's do it. Okay, wow, super fine powder. Okay. I like it. I like it more than like the Laura Mercier, honestly. If you're wondering what on earth I'm doing, I am setting places that normally crease. Just to try and help a little bit. Right now I'm just gonna kind of take like excess on my beauty blender to like set my entire face. So that everything is matte. While I am baking, you know, just getting baked as a bitch, I am going to clean up my brows with my new concealer <laughs> and my new brush. This is my new. Eyebrow carver. Not but for real, like how perfect is that? Just like clean. Thing is so sharp. Star brush to wipe away my Jeffree Star powder. <sighs> Cut line. <gasps> it's gonna go away, I promise. Don't worry. Since I did just set my entire face with setting powder, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some MAC Fix Plus on. have everything kind of melt together a bit more. All 
right, now we're gonna just speed through and I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup on camera for you guys since I am doing a simple makeup look today. And then we're done, bitch. Alright you guys, I will be right back. I'm going to apply some lashes off of camera. Alright you guys, I am back and my lashes are on. I actually did use a pair of Lily lashes today in the style Randy. Um, I tried to use these and they were pretty much the same size as my natural lashes. So yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> Had to put on anyway it is time for my favorite part highlight so a little bit more setting spray my Jeffree Star highlighting brush along with my favorite Supreme Frost in wet y'all already knew this is what I was going to use though I mean highlighting brush the other day I saw a comment on Instagram that was like isn't blinding highlight like so out of style now I was like bitch ho, 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 what? literally like bitch what no, honey, it is not. Alright, so, um, I actually could use one of the 20 lipsticks I have from Jeffree Star, but I want to put on a gloss. I love glosses in the summertime, um, and of course summer's almost here. So today, I'm actually going to be using the Candy K Gloss by Kylie Cosmetics. I have not used a Kylie lip kit in so long. I used to only use Kylie lip kits until I started using Jeffree's lipsticks. But Jeffree doesn't have any glosses yet. I know that's his like next launch, but in the meantime. Ooh, I forgot how great they smell. love Kylie's glosses um, the biggest problem I have with her mattes they're just so drying and if you don't have lip fillers like literally if you do not have lip fillers or big lips it's gonna just look really cracky and gross I actually used to wonder like why does it look like this on me but then on Kylie it's like perfect smooth flawless and like crack free and it's because she has a shit ton of lip fillers. Like as soon as I got my lips done and I used one of her lip kits, it actually worked better on me, which I'm like, girl, come on. Like that's not fair. Not everyone wants lip fillers. You know what I mean? 
Uh, so that's why I kind of switched to Jeffrey's because they're just they're just a better formula than hers, hands down. But I do love her velvets and I love, love, love her glosses. They're so pigmented. All right, to finish and make my skin even more dewy, I'm gonna be putting on the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. And I am finished, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. But when you guys like my videos and comment and subscribe, it really helps me and getting my YouTube up and out there. I'm almost halfway to being able to finally get monetized and have ads in my videos. I'm just saying, help a girl out. Um, you know, I do spend a lot of time, money, and effort on this not to receive any money back, you know. So this is purely just my passion and I do it for you guys. And I really hope that you guys enjoy. I really and truly do. Alright, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.